We have began the second season of this franchise at two and two, and considering last season in season one, we went two and 15, I think it's a pretty vast improvement. We have a couple upgrades to get to here to start this episode, and the first one is gonna be Jerry Brooks, who actually has two skill points to use. We're gonna use them both on Vertical Threat, and here he'll get plus one acceleration, awareness, break tackle, catch in traffic, jumping, two to medium route, and two to run block finesse, and then we'll go right back to Vertical Threat, already up to a 67 overall here, and he'll get plus one to agility, catch in traffic, catching, medium route, short route, one to speed, and one to stiff arm. Defensive back Avante Maddox also gets an upgrade point here. He gets plus one to awareness, press, and plus three to zone coverage. Then we have our lead back, Kendra Miller, who gets plus one to awareness, ball carrier vision, carrying, and plus one to speed. We also have defensive tackle Perion Winfrey, who gets plus one to awareness, block shedding, and one to power move. Wide receiver A.T. Perry has had a pretty solid start of the year. Now he gets plus one to catch in traffic, catching, release, short route, and spectacular catching. Our backup running back Puka Williams also gets an upgrade to awareness and then two to ball carrier vision and spin move. I did not realize how many upgrade points we actually had to use. I forgot at the end of the last episode we got 2500 XP for beating the Buccaneers to the entire team. So now rookie outside linebacker Colt Clinton will also get an upgrade two to awareness and two to zone coverage. I'm not going to go through everybody with you guys, but you can see the list here. The only ones that you will actually see the upgrade points of are going to be defensive back Devon Woodbury and Will Thomas. Our fifth round rookie, Will Thomas, will get plus two to man coverage and one to tackle. And our fourth round rookie, Devon Woodbury, will get plus one to acceleration, two to awareness, one to jumping, and one to press. In today's episode, I'd like to get through a handful of games here. My goal is to get through three games, but I cannot guarantee that we will actually get that done. The first game in today's episode, though, will be against the Carolina Panthers, who are led by an 80 overall in Bryce Young, an 86 overall running back in Miles Sanders, a 75 overall receiver in Jonathan Mingo, a 79 in Adam Thielen, and a 73 in Terrence Marshall. At tight end, they have an 80 overall. Now their offensive line's an 82 overall, a 74 overall, a 73 overall, an 81 overall, and an 84 overall. Along the defensive line, they have a 73 overall rookie at left end, at right end's an 85 overall in Derek Brown. Defensive tackle is a 79 overall Fletcher Cox, so they have two former Eagles on this team at least. Then outside linebacker is Brian Burns at an 89, middle linebacker is Shaq Thompson at an 83, right outside linebacker is a 71 overall, at defensive back they have JC Horn at an 84 and Dante Jackson at an 81, along with Marcus Peters at an 81. At free safety is an 85 overall in Jeremy Chen, and strong safety is an 84 overall in Von Bell. We did suffer one injury in weekly training, that would be right guard Michael Schofield, so our backup center, Dawson Deaton, will actually start at right guard. Oh, this is cool, I actually can't go into the game because I have no right guards on the roster, which means I have to go sign someone. Well, the right guard I've decided to bring in is going to be Vitae. I would try to pronounce his first name, I think I know how to pronounce it because he used to be an eagle but I cannot guarantee that, so Big V is headed to Oklahoma City. So I guess instead of starting Dawson Deaton at right guard, we will be starting Vitae. Because I had to sign Vitae, that means we have 54 players, which means someone has to get cut, and that somebody is going to be Andy Dalton. I will look to bring him back, though, because I still like having a mentor quarterback on the roster. On the Panthers' first drive, they've gotten near our 30-yard line. It is third and three from the Bison 31. Bryce Young under center will hand up to Miles Sanders up the middle for the easy first down brought down to the 22. Now a first and 10 for the Panthers. Young comes back in shotgun. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He throws to the outside. That one's caught by Sanders but knocked out of his hands, I believe, by Anthony Barr. Young will line up under center. Miles Sanders is the running back. It'll be hand up to Sanders to the outside. He cuts up the middle and will get brought down for a six-yard gain. Now a third and four. Can we hold him to a field goal try? Young out of shotgun will take the snap and look to pass. Standing back in the pocket, he's finally under pressure and will throw this one away. That will bring out their kicker for about a 33-yard attempt here to go up 3-0 in the first quarter. The kick is away, and this one should be good. We will watch at least the full first drive of the game for Nick Samuel. From under center, we hand off to Kendra Miller, who's coming off a pretty good day and will start today with a 6-yard run. In our last game against Tampa Bay, Miller ended up running for over 100 yards. Now from the 33-yard line, Samuel's back in shotgun. That is Puka Williams at running back. We give it to Puka, who will juke out a few defenders and try to get the first down, and he gets it across the 39-yard line. 
A three-yard run from Kendra Miller on the next play brings up a second and seven from the 41-yard line. A quick throw over the middle will be caught by Braden Willis, who breaks one tackle and then fights his way forward and is finally brought down at third and inches. It looked like he was going to be several yards short, but somehow fought his way forward. It looks like that entire ball is across the first down line. But on third and inches, we'll give it to Puka for the first down, and he's into Carolina territory. Now a first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Samuels back in shotgun. Kendra Miller is the running back. They're bringing heavy pressure, and he's going to get sacked on the play for a loss of eight. In that situation, you have to get rid of the ball. Now a second and 18. From the 45, it'll be a handoff to Kendra Miller, who goes up the middle and will fight his way back to the 39. That brings up a third and 11 for the Bison. They come out in shotgun with two running backs in the backfield. Samuel will take the snap. Standing in the pocket. Now he's going downfield, and that's caught for the first down by his favorite receiver. Never mind, that's Mike Williams. I thought it was A.T. Perry. First and 10 from the 25-yard line. Samuel back in shotgun. He takes a snap. He pump fakes downfield. Now he throws to the outside. That one will be caught by A.T. Perry, and he's brought down for a nine-yard gain. Samuel back in shotgun now from the 17. He takes the snap, looking to pass again. Dropping farther back. He's under pressure, and he's going to take the sack all the way back at the 31. Why not throw it away? That leads to a third and 15 now. Samuel back in shotgun. will drop back to pass. Dropping farther back. He's going to load this one deep to the end zone, and that's going to be incomplete intended for Curtis Samuel. So instead, we will send out kicker Christopher Dunn for about a 48-yard try. The kick is away, and this one should be good. We now jump to the second quarter, where it is still a 3-3 ball game. It's first and 10 from the Bison 30. Young will take the snap. A quick throw over the middle will be caught for a gain of about 7 yards. That brings up a second and three. Young lines up in an eye formation at the 23-yard line. It's going to be a toss play out to Miles Sanders, who gets to the edge. He has the first down and more, and jukes out a defender brought down to the 10-yard line. Young back in shotgun now for a first and goal. Sanders is the running back. They give it back to Sanders, who tries to find some space and will fight his way all the way down to the 6-yard line. He'll change the play a little bit. Let's see where they go with this one. Sanders will take the snap and drop back to pass. Dropping farther back. Has a bit of time. Now finally steps up, and he's going to get sacked on the play by Yannick Ngakwe. That will set up a third and goal. Can we hold them to another field goal try? From the 10-yard line, Young is back in shotgun. Miles Sanders is the running back. He'll take the snap and look to pass. Young rolling out to the outside. He's under pressure, and this time he's getting sacked by Obo Okoronkwo. Well, that would lead to a fourth and goal from the 25, so they kick the field goal here, and this one will be good, giving them a 6-3 lead. On the following drive, the Bison have managed to drive down to the Panthers 33. Samuel comes out in shotgun. He'll hand off to Kendra Miller, and Miller will fight to the left side, break a tackle, and finally get brought down to the 27 for a 7-yard run. That leads to a second and three. Now both running backs are in the backfield with Samuel. He'll take the snap and look to pass here. Stand in the pocket. Now throwing deep downfield, and that one will be incomplete. He had a man open. That results in a third and three. Or we're going to have to settle for another field goal. Samuel will drop back to pass. Dropping further back. Now he throws to the outside. That's caught along the sideline, and that is Jerry Brooks for the first down. The Panthers would actually challenge that catch from the undrafted tight end, but it would stand. So now first and 10 from the 15. A quick throw to the outside. Caught by Willis, and he's down to the 8-yard line. A 7-yard play. Now a second and three. Samuel lines up under center. Kendra Miller is the running back here. He takes the snap, and they give it to Miller. To the outside, but he'll get swarmed and brought down. Our center, Lloyd Cushenberry, was injured on the play, so that would stop the clock. Now a third and four from the 9-yard line. Samuel back in shotgun will take the snap looking for a quick pass. He throws it to Mike Williams who makes the catch for the first down. That leads to a first and goal. Samuel comes back in shotgun. Kendra Miller is the running back. We give it to Miller up the middle and Kendra Miller into the end zone. Touchdown Bison. Our safety Darnell Savage will get an interception on the next drive and set us up at the 15 yard line. So that's where we jump in. Samuel out of shotgun will throw this over the middle. That's caught by Puka Williams for just a two yard play. That leads to a second and eight. Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back here. From the 13, he'll take the snap and look to pass. Standing back in the pocket. He finally throws this one to the end zone, but throws it through the back. That sets up a third and eight. We may have to settle for a field goal. Samuel back in shotgun. Kendra Miller is the running back. He'll take the snap and throw it to the outside. That'll be caught for the first down, and I believe that's Braden Willis. First and goal from the three now. Samuel will line up under center. With Kendra Miller as his running back again. He'll take the snap and drop back to pass. He throws in the end zone, and that one's going to be incomplete. He threw that into a lot of traffic. 
That leads to a second and goal. Samuel back in shotgun. Kendra Miller is the running back again. From the three, they give it back to Miller and he'll break that tackle and now fight his way down to about the two yard line. I thought he might get in. Now a third and goal. Samuel will line up under center. We're in a goal line set. That is James Robinson in at running back. We give it to Robinson who will fight his way forward and get down to the one yard line, but we're apparently gonna go for it. From inside the one, it's fourth and goal out of a five wide set. Samuel will take the snap. A quick throw to the end zone will be incomplete. We get no points on the drive, but we'll see if the Panthers end up with a safety here. From inside the one, they give it to Miles Sanders to the outside, and he will bounce it to the edge, have the first down, and get out of bounds, getting them out of danger. We jump to the second half. We're on our first drive. We are settling for a field goal. It'll be about a 45, I'm sorry, a 55-yard try here for Christopher Dunn. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and this kick is going to be no good. Now, later on in the third quarter, in simulation, the Panthers hit a 63-yard touchdown to Adam Thielen and make it 13-10. We now jump into the fourth quarter. It is third and one from the Panthers' 26-yard line. Samuel lines up under center. He'll drop back to pass, looking for a quick throw, and that's going to get deflected without the linebacker ever turning around. On fourth and one, we will settle for a 43-yard field goal and try to tie the game here with 12 and a half minutes to play. The kick is away, and this one should be good. With 7.18 to go here in the fourth quarter, we get the ball at our own one-yard line to start this drive. I'm trying to see if we can avoid the safety. Hand off to Kendra Miller right up the middle, and he'll get us out of danger a little bit. A six-yard run. Kendra Miller is still the running back here. He'll take the snap. It's going to be a fake to Miller. Now Samuel looking to go downfield. He'll fire deep over the middle, and that one's going to get intercepted on the play. Tried to force it into Curtis Samuel. They take over at the 13-yard line. Well, that's not exactly what you want to see from your rookie quarterback, but now Bryce Young comes out in shotgun. Can the defense make some sort of play? He'll throw over the middle. That'll be tipped and almost intercepted. Hopefully that does not come back to haunt us. Second and 10. Young back in shotgun again. He'll take the snap and look to pass one more time. He throws over the middle, and that one was almost intercepted again. I think Darnell Savage had a chance to pick that one off. Now a third and 10. From the 13, Young lines up under center. It's going to be a handoff to Miles Sanders to the outside, and he'll break that tackle and then get planted by 54, which is going to, I believe, be Obo Okoronkwo. They will line up for a 30-yard field goal to attempt to take a three-point lead with six minutes to go in the game. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and it is good. This is a pretty massive drive now with 5.57 to play from the 25-yard line. Samuel lines up from under center. He'll drop back to pass. He throws deep down the sideline, and that'll be incomplete intended for Curtis Samuel. Next, Samuel lines up under center on second and 10. From the 25-yard line, Kendra Miller is the running back. They give it to Miller to the outside, and Miller will get brought down for a two-yard gain. That brings up a third and eight. Nick Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back. He'll take the snap. He fires over the middle. We've got the first down. That's Mike Williams of the 49-yard line. Now under five minutes to play. Samuel lines up under center. Kendra Miller is the running back. We go back to Miller to the outside. He has some running space and will get brought down the 46-yard line for a five-yard play. Nick Samuel back in shotgun again for second down. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He fires over the middle and he's got Curtis Samuel for the first down brought down to the Panthers 37. We are now under four minutes left to play in the game. Samuel comes out with a five-wide set this time. A quick throw will be caught by A.T. Perry and that's going to be a five-yard play. Samuel back in shotgun again. Kendra Miller is the running back from the 32-yard line. He'll take the snap and look to pass here. Standing in the pocket, he'll dump it off to Kendra Miller, who will fight for the first down. We are now under three minutes to play in the game at the 27-yard line. Nick Samuel back in shotgun. will take the snap and look to pass. He's going to fire this one deep downfield. That's caught by Mike Williams, and he's brought down to the 10-yard line. Both teams still have all three timeouts, and we still have the two-minute warning to get to. Nick Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back. He'll take the snap and throw it out to Puka on the outside. He's inside the five and brought out of the three-yard line. That would take us to the two-minute warning. So now it's second and goal. Samuel from under center. Kendra Miller is the running back here. He'll drop back to pass, and he throws to the outside. That'll be caught by Brooks, but he's brought down to the two. Third and goal. The Bison line up in shotgun. Samuel will take the snap, standing in the pocket. He's dancing around the pocket. Now, finally, they'll throw it out of the back of the end zone. Well, it looks like we might be headed to overtime because we're going to settle for a very short field goal try. This is about an extra point. The kick is away, and it is good. 
Well, not a great thing for us that they return the kick all the way to the 34-yard line. Young comes out in shotgun. A quick throw to the outside will be incomplete. Now a second and 10. A minute 25 to play in the game. Young back in shotgun again. We'll take the snap and look to pass. He throws to the outside. That's caught by his tight end, but quickly brought down. Now a third and five with a minute and five seconds to play. Bryce Young out of shotgun. We'll take the snap. It's going to be a screen to the outside, and that's dropped by Miles Sanders. He was wide open. We may have a chance to win this game in regulation. A minute and two seconds to play. They will kick this one deep. Let's see where the Bison are going to be taking over. They field it around the 20-yard line, and he cuts to the outside, and that's Woodbury to the 28. 54 seconds to go here. Can Nick Samuel do it? We come out in shotgun to start this drive. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He goes deep over the middle. That'll be caught, I believe, by Braden Willis to the 44. We burn our first time out at 49 seconds. Now from the 44-yard line. He's back in shotgun again. Another quick pass down the middle, caught by A.T. Perry, breaking tackles and getting brought out of the 34. We burn our second timeout. I think we're already in field goal range here. Samuel lines up under center. Kendra Miller is the running back. We give it to Miller, who fights up the middle and will get brought down to the 28-yard line. And now the Panthers have burned their first timeout. 40 seconds to go. Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back. He takes the snap, gives it to Puka, who will get met in the backfield. But now Brian Burns is injured for Carolina, forcing them to burn their second timeout. That sets up a third and five. Samuel lines up under center from the 29-yard line. It'll be a handoff to Miller, who I don't know why tried to bounce it to the outside, brought down in the backfield. We will send out our kicker for a 49-yard try to take the lead with 33 seconds to play here. The snap, the hold, Christopher Dunn sends it away, and this kick is going to be good. Now we need the Panthers to not pull off some sort of miracle. The kick is sent deep. They will field this at about the two-yard line and bring it up. He's across the 20 and tries to make some people miss, brought down to the 25-yard line. They have 25 seconds and no timeouts to try to get into field goal range or get a touchdown. Bryce Young in shotgun will take the snap and look to pass. Standing back in the pocket, he's under a lot of pressure. Hit by Yannick Ngakwe as he's throwing the ball away. Now with 19 seconds to play here in the game. Bryce Young back in shotgun. We'll take the snap and look to pass. Standing back in the pocket. He's under pressure and will throw this one away as well. They have 14 seconds remaining. Bryce Young comes back in shotgun one more time. Miles Sanders is the back. He'll stand back in the pocket now. Waiting for someone to come open. Dropping farther back and finally throwing this one to the sideline. Another incomplete pass. Well, now it's fourth and ten. The game comes down to this. Bryce Young in shotgun. From the 25-yard line, he'll take the snap and look to pass downfield. Standing in the pocket, has all day. Now finally unloads this deep downfield. That one will be tipped around and fall incomplete. The Oklahoma City Bison will get their third win on the season as we improve to 3-2. and two. I'll be honest, I did not think we were going to win this game at a certain point, but Nick Samuel came up big in that final drive there to get the game-winning field goal. He finishes today with 29 completions on 43 attempts, 305 yards passing, no touchdowns, but one interception. On the ground, Kendra Miller ran for 77 yards and a score. Puka Williams ran for 35 yards. Receiving, Mike Williams had a pretty good day. 8 for 118. Braden Willis, 7 for 72. Puka Williams, 5 for 40. A.T. Perry, not as big of a day as he's had so far. 4 for 42, still a pretty solid day though. On defense, Will Thomas led the team in tackles with seven. In sacks, Obo Okoronkwo got three, and Yannick Ngakwe got one. And interceptions, Darnell Savage came away with the lone interception that we got today. And then for the Panthers, Bryce Young had a really rough day. 10 for 27, 150 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Miles Sanders ran for 97 yards on 18 carries, and receiving Hunter Henry, four for 35, and Adam Thielen, three for 76 in a touchdown. Moving on to the next week, we get to take on the Cleveland Browns here, but first we have a few things to take care of, like some player upgrades following the weekly training. That upgrade point would go to quarterback Nick Samuel, who gets plus 2 to awareness, 1 to throw accuracy mid, and 1 to throw accuracy short, and we also now know his dev trait, which is going to be a superstar. We knew it was at least a superstar because one of the upgrades that we got in a previous episode gave him a new ability slot, but let's see what abilities he has. Pretty much the only one he has right now is Closer. Locker room pep talk goes a long way. Players with this ability can easily enter the zone in the second half. The Browns are struggling, but sometimes a team can trip up unexpectedly by looking ahead to the next game. Any fear that this is a trap game? 
I'm going to say no fear because I don't want to do a smug response. The Browns are struggling and all players will have negative 5 break tackle, play wreck, and tackle for this game. Now wide receiver Curtis Samuel has a crisis in confidence. I haven't been as productive as I was hoping to be this year. Having a big game might help me get back on track. Um, I'm going to kind of reject him. I'm going to tell him, you know, go out there and do your job and we'll see if uh, the ball gets thrown your way. Lack of production has left wide receiver Curtis Samuel extremely unhappy and frustrated. I did go back and cut Vitae, so I brought back Andy Dalton for his mentor player tag so these guys can earn a little more XP, mainly Nick Samuel. The Browns offense is led by a 78 overall Deshaun Watson at quarterback. At running back, they have a 96 overall Nick Chubb. Over at wide receiver, an 80 overall in Elijah Moore and a 73 in Alexander Roberts, a rookie receiver. They no longer have Amari Cooper, apparently. At tight end, David Njoku is an 85. Along the offensive line, they have a 79 overall, a 91 overall at left guard, a 77 overall at center, an 87 at right guard, and a 79 at right tackle. Now, starting along the defensive line, Zadarius Smith's an 82 overall left end. At right end, they have a 96 overall Miles Garrett. Defensive tackles a 74 and a 72. At outside linebacker, they have a 74 overall. Middle linebacker is a 67 overall. Right outside linebacker is an 80 overall in JOK. At defensive back, they have a 78 overall in Martin Emerson and an 83 in Greg Newsom. At free safety, a 76 in Juan Thornhill and a 68 overall in Israel Mukamu. I, yeah, I probably just butchered your name. I'm sorry. The defense would force the Browns to punt on their first drive of the game. So now Nick Samuel and the offense take over at the nine yard line. Samuel out of shotgun will throw down field. That's caught by Curtis Samuel and he's brought down for a five yard play. That leads to a second and five. Now the 14 yard line. Nick Samuel back in shotgun. Hand off to Puka Williams. Who goes up the middle and he'll get brought down just inches shy of the marker. Samuel lines up under center on the next play from the 19. Kendra Miller is the running back here. Will we just give it to him? He'll send the tight end in motion a little bit. Takes the snap, hands off to Miller, who will get the first down and more and fight his way all the way to the 26-yard line. That's a seven-yard run. A two-yard run on the next play brings up a second and eight now for the Bison. Samuel out of shotgun will drop back now, throw down field, and that one probably should have been intercepted. That leads to a third and eight. Can we convert and keep the drive moving? Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back. He'll take the snap and throw this one downfield. That's caught by Braden Willis for the first down to the 44. Nick Samuel now lines up under center on the next play. With Kendra Miller in at running back. They give it back to Miller, who cuts it to the outside. Has a lot of space and the first down finally brought down to the Browns 41-yard line. Now Samuel back in shotgun at the 41-yard line. Kendra Miller is the running back here. He'll take the snap and drop back to pass. He fires over the middle. That's caught by A.T. Perry for the first down all the way to the Browns 22. Nick Samuel back in shotgun on the next play. He'll take the snap. It's going to be a handoff to Puka Williams who goes up the middle with a decent gain here and he'll fight his way for the first down to the 11. We come back in shotgun on the next play. Samuel will take the snap, drop farther back, and he's going to meet Miles Garrett on the play for a loss of nine. That leads to a second and 19. Now back in shotgun from the 20. Samuel will take the snap. He throws over the middle. That's caught by Perry, and he'll get brought down to bring up a third and 13. Now the question is, do we run the ball and kick the field goal, or do we try to go to the end zone here on third down? It'll be a fake to Puka Williams. Samuel will throw this one away, and we will attempt a field goal here. Christopher Dunn will come out for about a 31-yard try to try to give us a 3-0 lead here in the first quarter. The snap, the hold, the kick is away, and it is good. We now jump to the second quarter where it is still 3-0, but now we're at the Browns' 24-yard line. Nick Samuel from under center will hand off to Kendra Miller to the outside who gets the first down and will finally be brought down to the 14. The Bison come back in shotgun for the very next play. Samuel will look to pass. He throws this one to the outside that's caught by Braden Willis who breaks the tackle but is forced out of bounds for an 8-yard gain. Now a second and two. We come out with, I believe, all three tight ends in the set here. But Will looks a pass. Samuel will throw down field. Caught by Willis into the end zone. Touchdown. Bison will take the lead 10 to nothing. The Bison defense would force another three and out. And now we're all the way back down to the Browns 17-yard line. Samuel back in shotgun. Hand out to Kendra Miller. And Miller will go up the right side for a gain of about seven yards here. Nick Samuel back in shotgun. Kendra Miller is the running back. He'll take the snap. A quick throw down field will be caught and knocked out of the hands of Mike Williams. That looked like it was on a trajectory to go right to the running back. Now a third and three. Samuel back in shotgun again. Puka Williams is the back here from the 11-yard line. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's going to the end zone and overthrows A.T. Perry. That will bring us to settle for about a 28-yard field goal. The kick is away and it is good. 
the Browns have struggled all day on offense, but now they finally seem to have woken up. They just hit a 48-yard touchdown pass from Deshaun Watson to David Bell, and that'll make it 13-7. With about a minute to go in the half now, from the Browns 29 yard line, it's second and two. He throws to the outside, caught by A.T. Perry, who's brought down to the 21. We would burn our first time out with 48 seconds to go in the half. Now Samuel back in a five wide set here. He'll take the snap and look to pass. He's under quick pressure and getting sacked on the play for a loss of eight. We would burn our second time out then. Now second and 18 from the 29 yard line. Samuel back in shotgun will take the snap and look to pass here. Throws to the outside, that one's caught by Willis, but knocked out of his hands. That would set up a third and 18 now. Nick Samuel back in shotgun. Kendra Miller is the running back here. Still the 29-yard line, he'll drop back to pass. And Samuel will throw this deep down the sideline. That is caught, but there is a flag down. I believe it was caught by Mike Williams. It's going to be unnecessary roughness on the defense. I don't think I've seen that call in this game before. The refs apparently said there was no reason to hit Mike Williams out of bounds. Now first and goal from the eight yard line. With one timeout remaining, we'll drop back to pass here. Samuel over the middle, caught by Mike Williams down to the two. The clock is still running now, 18 seconds to go in the half. Samuel lines up under center. He takes the snap and looks to go to the end zone. A quick pass and that is caught by Curtis Samuel. Touchdown Oklahoma City. Oklahoma City would get the ball to start the second half. So now first and 10 all the way to the Browns 23 yard line. The opening drive is going pretty well. He goes downfield and finds his man for a game of about eight yards. That should be Puka Williams. Now a second and two. Samuel back in a five wide set here from the 15 yard line. He'll take the snap and look to pass. Dropping farther back. He finally throws this one to the end zone and that one's going to be knocked out of the air intended for Braden Willis. That will set up a third and two for the Bison. Samuel lines up under center. Kendra Miller is the running back. Do we just give it to him? No, we don't. We drop back to pass to the outside. Caught by Brooks, and he has the first down. Now a first and 10 from the 13-yard line. Samuel back in shotgun. Puka Williams is the running back. He takes the snap and a quick pass to Puka, and he'll get brought down inside the 10. That would set up a second and five. Now he lines up under center from the 8-yard line. Kendra Miller is the running back. He takes a snap, fakes it to Miller. Now looking to pass, will throw to the outside. That's going to be caught and down to the five, I'm sorry, inside the five-yard line is going to be the third string tight end. No gain from James Robinson on the next play brings up a second and goal. By the way, that tight end's name is Donovan Johnson. So now second and goal from the one. Hand off to Kendra Miller right up the middle and he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Bison. That will make it 27-7. We would actually go for two and make it 28 to seven, but for the first time today, the Browns have managed to get inside the 30 yard line. So we'll finally jump in. Deshaun Watson will throw downfield. That'll be caught inside the five yard line. So with four and a half minutes to go, their offense finally has woken up. First and goal from the four now. Watson back in shotgun. Nick Chubb is the running back. Watson will take the step, hand off to Chubb, who goes to the outside, and he'll fight his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Browns. The Browns may be looking to pull off a miracle here. They have the ball back with about a minute to go in the game. Down by two scores. Deshaun to the end zone, and that'll be incomplete. That'll lead to a second and ten. Watson comes back in shotgun from the 18-yard line. Nick Chubb is still the running back, though I don't think we'll see much of him right now. Watson takes a snap and throws on the run, and that's deflected out of the air. I believe it was Avante Maddox that took it out of the sky. Now third and 10. Still at the 18 yard line. Watson back in shotgun. We'll drop back to pass again. He throws to the end zone one more time and another deflection. That one by Michael Davis. With 46 seconds to go. They don't have much hope anyway, but this would completely kill it if they don't get this first down. Watson takes the snap. He goes downfield and that'll be knocked out of the air one more time. I believe by Michael Davis again. Your final score today is 28 to 14, and we are now officially four and two on the season. I'll be completely honest, I set our goal at four wins this year. I really didn't know if we'd get it or not, and we've gotten it within our first six games of the year. Final stats on the day for our rookie quarterback. He goes 28 for 36, 289 yards and two touchdowns. Kendra Miller, 104 yards on the ground and a touchdown. Receiving Mike Williams, 7 for 103. Braden Willis, 6 for 49 and a touchdown. Curtis Samuel got a touchdown and A.T. Perry went 6 for 78. So we had a pretty good day. Then leading the team in tackles is a tie between Anthony Barr and Michael Davis. The defense played insane today. And we got a total of seven sacks. Obo Okoronkwo came away with three. Yannick Ngakwe got three. And Perrion Winfrey got one. He's also apparently injured. So hopefully that's not serious. But we got no interceptions today. Now let's see how Deshaun Watson played. 
He went 20 of 34 for 284 yards and a touchdown. Running the ball, Nick Chubb got 66 yards on 12 carries and a touchdown. Receiving David Njoku, 8 for 90. And then David Bell, 5 for 91 and a score. Well, since we avoided the trap game, apparently, our entire team has earned an extra 1,000 experience this week. Well, I think that's going to wrap up this episode. I think those two games should be enough for this one. We ended up watching a lot more of the Panthers game than I thought we would. So in the next episode, we will pick up here in Week 7 in a home game against the Philadelphia Eagles.